Hey, what's up, you two? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. In this episode, I'm going to show you guys exactly how much money I made in dividends from a $350,000 portfolio. Now, I know what you're saying. That's a lot of money. And trust me, I did not come for money. I don't come for money, but I am a hustler. I am a bona fide hustler. I'm going to find a way to make some money. And when I got my first dividend payment, I had around a 60, maybe a $75 portfolio. That's it. I only had around 60 to $75 inside of my portfolio. When I got my very first dividend check, it hit my account. It was for like 37 cents. And I looked at it and I was like, what is this? Um, this notification came through my phone that I got 37 cents deposited into my account. I did not know what a dividend was at the time. I was like, hey, I did absolutely nothing at all. And I got paid money inside of my account for doing nothing. Let me do a little bit more research on dividends. So once I looked at dividends, I found that the dividends are companies that pay out money back to their investors as a form of saying, hey, thank you for investing inside our company. This is a little benefit to kind of persuade you guys to invest inside our company that we're going to give you guys a little check. And as we give you guys this check for investing inside our company, for being investors in our company, we hope that you reinvest your dividends back inside of our company so that we could continue to grow this company. And when I found out that, hey, you're gonna pay me just for investing inside your company, that this is by far the most passive form of income there is, I started this YouTube channel on dividend investing and I got, I dug in deep to learn everything about dividends there is. So that is what a dividend is. Um, dividends are either paid out monthly, quarterly, or yearly. Um, most of them pay out um, monthly or quarterly. And I went from receiving just my very first paycheck and dividends, one dividend check. But now in the month of September, I received 26 dividend checks. And boy, can I tell you that it is sweet and I, and I, and I absolutely love it because in a video I made just nine months ago, I said, hey, if I could start all over again, this is how I would dividend invest. I made the change and I'm gonna show you guys um, how it benefited my portfolio and how it took off and grew over time from just these smaller details that I'm gonna um, tell you guys throughout this video. So if you don't wanna miss out on that, make sure you hit the thumbs up button so you don't miss out on any crucial information. And also hit that subscribe button. But before we dive into it, this video is brought to you by Moomoo. Go ahead and click the link down in the description. Moomoo offers commission-free investing. You do not have to pay at all to buy or sell or trade any of your stocks. And also if you sign up now and deposit $100, you could receive up to 16 free stocks right inside of your account. Who knows, you could get one of those big stocks like Apple or Google or something like that. And with those 16 free stocks, you could use the platform or you can sell those free stocks. Guys, that money is out there for you to get. Do not miss out on the opportunity. Also, I'm gonna leave a link in the description to Webull. Um, you sign up with Webull, deposit any amount of money. You can deposit one penny if you want to. And once you do, you can receive up to 16 free stocks as well. Once again, you can sell those free stocks and withdraw all of your money free money or you can decide to use the platform do not miss out on this amazing opportunity but enough talking let's go ahead and dive straight into this video welcome back dreamers here we are on my robin hood account i'm on this account i'm sitting at 114 dollars and 93 cents and on my Weibo account i'm sitting at 235,246 dollars and 37 cents so that's around um 200 that's around 300 and $49,900, but I'm gonna deposit $20 tomorrow to make it $350,000, right? So here we are back on my Robinhood account. Over the last week, we've been doing pretty good, up 2.3%. Down on the month, but over the last three months, I'm still down 2%, but over the last um, year to date, um, since I made this change a little bit over nine months ago, I am up 33.62%. And the change that I made is that I've been investing inside dividend aristocrats and dividend kings. Now, I have to tell you what dividend kings and dividend aristocrats are because they did pay out some of my dividends. So I'm going to let you guys know what they are. So let me explain what they are. First, dividend aristocrats are companies that are inside the S&P 500 and increase their dividend yield. Dividend yield is how much dividends these companies pay back. They do not all pay back the same amount. Some of them have a small dividend yield of 1%. Some of them have a very large dividend yield of 10%. Um, the lower dividend yield is more stable. The higher dividend yields are more risky. So the dividend aristocrats are companies that are inside the S&P 500, which are usually pretty stable companies and have increased their dividends every single year for the last 25 years. 
and dividend kings are companies that are inside the s p 500 and have increased their dividends every single year for the last 50 years so that's longer than most of us even been alive i mean they've been they've increased their dividends through recessions they increased their dividends through pandemics these are pretty solid companies and that what i have been investing into to help kind of boost my portfolio to help me see these large gains so we take a look let's go to my history and then hit dividends let's scroll all the way down remember we're looking at the month of september had a pretty good month now the first one i'm gonna point out a couple of these to y'all v is a uh, visa i had a little less than a share i think i got it for free and they paid me out one cent wtrg paid me out a dollar and 54 cents wmt is walmart i absolutely love this company got 10 shares they pay out 57 cents per share so they pay me out six dollars and eight cents walmart is a dividend aristocrat or it could be a dividend king let me double check on that look in the description i'll let you guys know what it is down in the description uh, we got johnson and johnson johnson and johnson is for sure a dividend king um i own one share they pay out a dollar and 19 cents per share they're a quarterly paying dividend stock i think they've been increasing their dividends for like the last 60 years or something like that johnson johnson is very stable i need more of them inside my portfolio shw sherman williams pay me out 60 cents per share so 61 cents on one share of sherman williams paint company agnc is a real estate read they pay me out 14 dollars and 28 cents um mmm is also a dividend king guys i own four shares of um 3m paying out a dollar and 50 cents per share quarterly paying dividend stock so i received six dollars and three cents from mmm mmm make everything from duct tape sticky notes the face mask everyone wears everything 3m makes everything so if you ever bought anything ever in life 3m probably made it absolutely love this company there are dividend kings i need more of them in fact i do have more of them just pay attention to this later in the video i have more of 3m inside of my webo account all right so that's 3m microsoft love microsoft they paid me out five dollars and three cents everyone knows what microsoft is here we go ticker symbol O. ticker symbol O is a REIT I own 10 shares of them they pay me out 25 cents per share so I received two dollars and 67 cents from ticker symbol O, and they pay out monthly they make every single month I've been naming some quarterly paying dividend stocks but ticker symbol O is known as the monthly paying dividend stock and they've been increasing their dividends for the last 25 50 years as well absolutely love them um i got two dollars and 67 cents from um ticket symbol O. P sec paid me out a dollar and 37 cents spyd paid me out five dollars and three cents that is a, a dividend etf um wm love wm wm is waste management i own 18 shares that pay me out 70 cents per share so around 13 dollars and four cents um, waste management only goes up guys it literally only goes up on uh, warren buff one of warren buffett's favorite companies a trash company is very boring but they always making money every single year the next one is ntes right here i think i want to increase my position in them um on five shares 52 cents per share paying out two dollars and 74 cents that is uh, the next one's sphd also another dividend etf pay me out five dollars and 56 cents that is a monthly paying dividend stock pe wise also monthly paying me out um eight dollars and 39 cents and then i have qyld one of my, one of my bigger ones paying me out 63 dollars and 31 cents that is also a monthly paying dividend stock that means every month i'm going to receive 63 dollars for me to go spend and buy anything that i want qyld is kind of like a high dividend etf it's not safe it's not the the safest route to go down but I'm investing to this one for you guys to show you how powerful um, dividend investing can be if you have the snowball effect, right? Um, the next one is LUV, Southwest Airlines. Yes, Southwest Airlines, LUV, 11 shares, 18 cents per share, pay me out $2.07. I have NVIDIA, pay me out $0.03. Cents. PepsiCo, tick symbol PEP. PepsiCo just became dividend kings, right? Um, they've been increasing their dividends every single year for 50 years. Now it makes it 50 years. I own two shares. I'm paying me out $1.26 per share. So that's $2.53. And then that's it. I have a couple coming up in October, as you guys can see. But let's move on over to my Weibo account. Let's go to history. 
all right so here we go on my dividend records for on my webo account uh just september i got amc paying me a dollar and three cents 3m like i said when i said i wish i earned a lot more this has completely been a game changer 3m paid me out 150 dollars in dividends microsoft um i think i'm gonna get a lot more from microsoft that next dividend payment at, at the time i only own 17 shares of microsoft now i own 100 shares of microsoft so you could kind of like double you could multiply this by four that's how much i'm gonna get paid next time next time for microsoft but they pay me out 11 dollars and 56 cents and then qild i have some of them in this portfolio as well pay me out 144 dollars and 78 cents and the last one is nvidia pay me out 20 cents so total that comes out with a total overall to $459.26 in a single month. Now, I did absolutely nothing this month, but sit back, relax, and watch these checks hit. Now, there's 30 days in a month. I got paid 26 of those days doing absolutely nothing at all. Just, if that sounds like a good idea to you, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But um, that is just in a single month. Some months is a little more, some months is a little less. But if we average that out, if I make this every single month from here on out, multiply that by 12 in a single year, I can make $5,511.12, which <laughs> that is completely insane. But I'm greedy. I'm a hustler. I want more. And if you're making the same, if you're making a little less, you should always want more. And the way I do that, I reinvest my dividends. So I'm reinvesting $5,511 back inside my portfolio so that I can make even more money next year just from dividends by doing absolutely nothing at all. And if you guys do wanna know more about what I changed inside my portfolio, because I'm gonna change it again to, I think I could do better. I know I could do better. There's some stocks inside my portfolio I don't need. It's some that I need to, rearrange here rearrange there if you guys want to know exactly what i'm doing what stocks i'm buying what options i'm doing i'm gonna leave a pin link down in the comment section to my patreon sign up join that um get inside the discord over there i post every single time i buy and sell a stock i post all my option trades i think we have three different pro option traders in there that post their option trades every single day and if you want to be a part of a community of investors that want to be financially free just like you make sure that you check out that that pin comment down in the comment section and there we go dreamers are you a dividend investor let me know down in the comment section what dividends are you investing into do you reinvest your dividends or do you actually pay your bills or you pay your your car note or you pay your light bill or you put gas inside the tank do you take vacations with your dividends what do you do with your dividends? Have you heard of dividends? Let me know about that down in the comment section. Let me know how much are you making per month from your comment section. I, I remember when I first started off, I was making 37 cents a month. For about the first year, I got up to maybe $10 a month in my first year, which was pretty good to me. I was very excited. I was like, hey, I'm making $10 a month. That's around $120 a year. I could go buy some new shoes every year just from dividends now it's up to you to say if you want to say how much you make in dividends per month down in the comment section but i would love to read you guys comments on what you're investing into and how much you're making from dividends per month but that's completely insane that the most passive form of income that i have is dividends and, I, and i'm going to earn around five thousand dollars this year from dividends by doing absolutely nothing at all but um if you guys do want to sign up with moomoo if you guys do want to sign up with weeble and get started dividend investing today both of those links are going to be down in the description um you head down to the description you click moomoo sign up start your account start dividend investing um do your research first please always do your research first but if you do your research i highly recommend that you start to do your research on dividend aristocrats and do your research on dividend kings right and then you can start to branch off into other stocks and things like that but make sure that you do your research first before you just jump inside the stock market like i did because it took me a while to learn and to change my portfolio around in order for me to have some growth but yeah guys don't forget to pick up your free stocks go ahead hit that thumbs up button go ahead hit that subscribe button because that helps out this channel more than you can even imagine but um other than that i'm zeke bring you the dream green show and i'm out peace